Hey guys, welcome to Compound Body once again today. And today, got heaven here. Now, we're going to be going through the tuck sit-ups and we're going to also be going through the V sit-ups. They're pretty similar. However, we'll be showing you the differentiation between each of them and also be breaking down each technique just to give you a basic understanding of what it looks like, how you can do it properly, and how to correct any errors that or issues that you may be having. All right, so firstly up is the, the V sit-ups and Heaven will be taking care of that. She'll be doing it off the floor as well as on the bench. So let's get into it. All right. So, so for a complete beginner, they want to have their arms retracted a little bit to support the body because you won't have as much balance as yet. And as you advance through the technique, you'll um, gain more balance and then you can take the both arms off the ground and do it without any support of the arms. So first we're going to do it with the first set with the arms, then we're going to do the second set without the arms. This exercise works the core predominantly, it also works the hip flexors and just a great way of strengthening as well as developing that core muscle as well as those hip flexors getting you that nice six pack. Alright, let's do it. So the surface area is a little bit less and therefore um, there's more demand on the body in terms of muscle recruitment because of the instability or un and also the small surface area. Alright, let's hit it. Alright, so now we're going to proceed into doing the tuck. This, ver this is a variation of the V-sit. So for persons who are a little bit less flexible, such as myself, who cannot touch their toes um, from sitting down, this is a great way of how to mimic that similar technique, however, with a bent um, knee. So let's get into it. So firstly, the same um, variation as Evan did, where I'm retracting my arms onto the floor. And then once I once I can do that, I'll proceed into doing these. Then we'll move on to the bench. Alright guys, there you have it. I hope you liked that video. So just remember those um, safety measures as well as the error points that we discussed in terms of making sure that you have your shoulders um, really upright. Also make sure that you get a full stretch of the muscle. Make sure you're fully open and you close fully open. And if you have any other questions, please leave it in the comment section. We'll be sure to answer those. Also hit us up on Instagram at and be sure to leave your comments in the comment section. Please be sure to subscribe to us as well right now as we have great videos coming soon. All right, until next time.